do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students in the last lecture we have studied how to derive an equation based on banthoff factor and now we are going to solve a numerical based on that banthoff factor so students as given on your screen there is a numerical which is based on banthoff factor so let us see what are the given data and what is the requirement of the given question so the given question is we have to determine the amount of cacl2 having an i is equals to 2.47 that is banthoff factor is equals to 2.47 which is dissolved in 2.5 liter of water such that the osmotic pressure is 0.75 atmosphere at 27 degrees celsius and the molar mass of cacl2 that is the solute is 111 gram per mole and the value of the gas constant given here is 0.082 liter atmosphere per kelvin per mole so the main requirement of us is the molar mass okay continue so the main requirement of this question is amount of solute present in the solution which also has a banthoff factor in this case the amount of solute can be calculated as the number of moles also or we can calculate by the weight or by the mass of the cacl2 present in the solution so let us first out first of all find out what are the given data so the given data is first of all the banthoff factor is given that is i is equals to 2.47 later on the volume of the pure solvent is also given that is v is equals to 2.5 liter or we can say as 2.5 dm cube and later the osmotic pressure is also given osmotic pressure which is denoted by pi is given as 0.75 atmosphere and moreover the temperature is also given but we should know that the temperature if it is present in degree celsius we have to convert into kelvin so how can we convert it to kelvin we will add the number of the given temperature plus 273 which will make around 300 kelvin okay and moreover the molar mass of cacl2 in this case we should know that the cacl2 is the solute and has the molar mass of the solute is denoted by mb gram per mole but for better convenience we will try to convert into kg per mole and at last the gas constant is also given which is 0.082 liter atmosphere kelvin per mole this is the given data and from this thing we have to calculate the number of moles or the mass of the cacl2 which is present in the solution which have created a banthoff factor of the given that is 2.47 and has created an osmotic pressure of 0.75 so let us find it out so before finding out the requirement we should know that this problem is also based on osmotic pressure and since and and moreover it has banthoff factor in it also so therefore the usual osmotic pressures formula that is pi v is equals to nrt that is pi v is equals to nrt 
will now be converted into pi b is equals to i nrt in this case the i is the vector factor so what are the given data let us write it down first and we'll calculate the requirement So for in this case, since the pi is given as 0.75, the volume is given as 2.5 liter. Even the I is also given, that is 2.47. The number of moles of solute is not known to us. So we'll keep as it is. Now we'll multiply R that is 0.082 and ultimately we'll multiply the temperature which is 300 Kelvin. So by this we could determine what is the value of N. So let me separate it first. I've kept the N as it is and I've shifted all the values aside. So this made me to go with 0. 0.75 multiplied by 2.5 divided by 2.47 into 0.082 into 300. So let me calculate this thing. So the given answer that we have calculated now that is for number of moles is 0 0.0308 and since it is number of moles means it will be the number of mole that is which has a unit we'll get 0 0.0308 moles So this could be the final answer, but we could also find it out what is the mass of the solute present in it. So how can we determine that thing? We know that Nb is equals to Wb upon Mb. Therefore, Wb will be Nb into and B. Fine. Now we could substitute the value of NB into NB. The value of NB that we have got right now was 0 0.0308, and the value of MB that we have determined. Uh, or we have extracted from the given question was 1 1 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg per mole and the unit of mb was also mole okay so i'll multiply this and let us see what is the answer So it is three point four one eight into ten raised to minus three kg per mole. I can convert this into gram also. This ten raised to minus three will cancel out k because k is nothing but kilos and kilo has a value of 10 raised to 3 so this 10 raised to 3 and this 10 raised to minus 3 will cancel out each other and the remaining unit which is left with us right now is gram per mole so this is the final answer that we have got we have calculated the amount of solute that is the amount of CaCl2 present in the solution which contains a Van't Hoff factor more than 1. 
in the format of the number of moles of solute as well as the weight of the solute present in the solvent or present in the solution. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got to know that how to calculate the Van Hoff factors and the molar mass of solute based on Van Hoff factor. So don't forget to subscribe egeta.com and please share with your friends too. Thank you so much.